Priscilla Regis' head, perhaps, but Spencer Whelan and Peter Jackson both coming up into the attack, trying to uh, add aerial power to the Chester attack at the moment. Dees Regis, it's there. He's done it. Yes, it's a goal. For five minutes, Cyril Regis strikes again in almost identical situation from the goal he got here seven days ago against Plymouth. That time it was from a corner, this time it was a free from a free kick on the far side and the ball went over the head of a defender. Chester's Cyril Regis gets his head to that. Only Nicky Cross and Neil Lyon upfield for Hedford, everybody else back helping out there under pressure defence. Now then, Rimmer with his back to goal. Burnham, corner. Chester win the first corner of the match on uh, their left-hand side and uh, the scorer was Stuart Rimmer on that occasion. It was a good flick on that, hit the back post. Well, that was uh, the man you mentioned, and I think Stuart Rimmer there, who got a flick back header onto it, went on to the far post with uh, the Hereford defence all over the place, and Chester certainly looking good at the moment. Whelan pumps the heads of the ball back in. Now Notman. Hereford just can't clear the lines at the moment. Whelan finds Regis in space. Flickcroft. That's uh, just slightly overhit, and Spencer Whelan at the back post. A bad crowd here today, Brian. Uh, I think they're all after the vouchers for the Tottenham game. Yeah, we think so. That's a good flick on from Regis. A flick and it's in. Notman scored. A new signing, Kevin Notman. It's a flick on from Cyril Regis' head. And on the 24th minute, it's the uh, new signing who has endeared him to the home fans here. That Fisher, Flickcroft, and Noteman have all had good games. And now Clark looking to get a cross in, gets one in, and there's a goal there by number seven, Tony Pounder.